Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's video we're going to check into the 10th of September 2022 and see what kind of a day we do have ahead of us and uh, if you are interested into having a personal reading with me you can always uh, go to my website uh, which link uh, you can find in the description uh, down below and there you can see full list of my services and as well their pricing so with that uh, set aside let's uh, check out what we do have uh, the first card for the day that's going to be uh, the queen of uh, swords followed by the second card of the day uh, which is going to be the six of uh, pentacles the six of pentacles yeah and the final one for the day uh, that's going to be uh, the, the high priestess <laughs> it's the high priestess so these are uh, the three cards of the day and that is how uh, the Elemental Dignity reading uh, pretty much stands. All right, uh, Saturday is going to be one of those days where uh, we will have to kind of like prove our surroundings being wrong. I don't know how to exactly put it into English, but that is the day where if something doesn't want to work out from the first try, we have to try even harder than that. Usually I do not advo advocate for that, right? I am a type of person who, if things doesn't want to happen, I just, you know, leave them aside. I'm not someone stubborn and, and tenacious to make them work at all costs. But what is those uh, three cards are pretty much preaching for Saturday? So yeah, it's a day where we should harp, it's a day where we should push, it's a, it's a day where we should really press buttons uh, that, that we know that those uh, buttons exist. The Queen of Swords, it's, uh, it shows that throughout the day we're not just only going to be capable to push our things through. And when I say our things, that is the things that we want to kind of like take place into the... Uh, into the day of Saturday, 10th of uh, September, 2022nd. But also it kind of shows that we are going to dwell on our emancipating nature, meaning that we will be able to use every single asset. Uh, and under asset, that could be a situation, like exploit, that we can find anything that it is out there. We can use it. Are we going to decide to use it? Well, that is entirely up to us. But if we are determined to push it through at all, whatever it takes, we are definitely going to be able to manage it. Whatever we are trying to establish into the um, uh, into the uh, a day of Saturday, even if we are trying to establish peace, even that, even if that is at stake there, and uh, there are people who are bothering us with their problems, with their demands, with their needs, we can definitely push through our peace by telling them that we don't want to see them anymore. That's also an asset, all right? Just so you know that that can take place in uh, every single field of, uh, of our lives. Uh, our uh, determination to make things happen to our net to our end I'm sorry definitely going to disrupt certain balance we do have that into the Queen of Swords and uh, the Six of Pentacles which are over there uh, in between that elemental dignity I don't know if it's going to provoke certain conflicts that is not entirely characteristic to these two cards it may be it may create grievances but into the into the day of saturday it's unlikely that there are going to be scandals and really big fights and so on and so forth but grievances that is a very very likely to be established if we are really tenacious I, i'm saying that just so we know guys what is at stake here and what kind of a price we got to pay if we do want to have it our way uh, with um the other card which is uh the high priest is being next to the queen of swords it's a pretty simple uh it's a pretty simple elemental dignity and basically gives us a choice like i told you at the start of the reading we will have the means to push our things through but it is up to us to decide do we want to and is it worth it and that is exactly how the high priest is stands with the uh, Queen of Swords on one hand, it tells us that that is the day where we can put a stir 
to our preferences and to our agenda, if you will, and to anything that we are chasing and believing in. From another hand, it's a day where if we don't do anything and if we just uh, push for maintenance, meaning that we do these mundane things which are required to maintain our marriage, uh, to maintain the relationship with uh, our children, for example, if we do have any, or with our friends, that is also going to work for us. So it's, it's, per, it's a day of a personal preferences. Uh, but uh, just so you know, once again, I want to uh, underline here or rather like highlight uh, that if we push it too hard, there will be a price to pay. And most likely this is going to be a grievances or a disruption of the balance that it is within, uh, within our lives. Is, it, is the day good for dating? Not exactly. Okay, uh, this High Priestess, it's a good card for dating, but next to the Queen of Swords, this is a active neutral elemental dignity, which means that even if uh, there is uh, a potential, uh, those who date to fall in love into the day of, Sat of Saturday, that potential is not going to be felt. And uh, therefore, you know, one can put... Um, not empty judgment but like a uh, wrong judgment that things aren't gonna work out and it is just the energy of the day so i don't know i, I don't want to make choices for you but if i were to choose i would reschedule my date on saturday if i do have such it's a great day making work making business so those of you who are making business in saturday I think that you are going to be able to get the upper hand over your clients, over your boss, and over the people that you are making the work for. So with that said, guys, that was uh, the Daily Tarot uh, reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.